Are you trying to decide which fishing kayak to purchase? This video is for you. Welcome back to another episode of 5 Minute Fish Talk. Mm -mm -mm. It's Friday morning, I've got coffee, and I've got 5 minutes on this time of year, and you know what that means. Boop. It's time to get real. We're talking about kayak fishing today. Why? Because it is spring and it's time to get out there and start crushing them. Maybe you don't have a fishing kayak yet, or maybe you want to upgrade. Well, today we're gonna to talk about that. Here's the deal, if you're new to my channel, there is a ton of kayak fishing information on this channel, and I'm gonna link a bunch of those videos in the description, so you can watch those after this one. But today the real goal is to go through some of the main decision points you might have to where you can go through this buying process and come out of it with the best fishing kayak for you. And that way you can catch a ton of fish. That's what we all want to do, right? So here's the deal. I am going to talk about some of these key decision points and list of importance, I suppose. But the first one would be price. Now, obviously you have a budget. Maybe you have $300 or maybe you have $3,000 or anywhere in between. There's so many kayaks on the market that can serve your needs. Whether you're getting one at Walmart or getting one online from a specialty retailer, it doesn't necessarily matter, but you have to first figure out what your budget is. And you have to also remember that you're probably gonna have to add on 100 to $200 in after the kayak purchase, like the accessories, paddles, crates, whatever, however you want to rig it out. So you probably have to allocate about 100 to $200 for that, obviously a PFD. Regardless, so get your budget, figure out what, how much money you have, and then you can kind of hone in on specific types of kayaks. Now the next thing that you're going to want to think about is what types of water are you fishing? Are you fishing rivers? Are you fishing lakes? Are you fishing big lakes? Or are you fishing small lakes? The list goes on and on and on. If you're fishing, depending on what type of water you're fishing, you may want something that's either faster, so like a lighter kayak that has more of a V hole on the bottom, or you might want something that's more flat bottom, super stable, really wide, but it's obviously gonna be a slower kayak. Now, I personally like to find something in the middle, and that's why I purchased the native Manta Ray 12 XT here recently, is because I can use that for so many different things and it works really well for me. I can stand in it, yet it's light enough to where I can paddle pretty fast and I can throw it up on my shoulder and bring it down to a river, so on and so forth. Now it's not about my kayak today, so let's move on to the next thing. The next thing that you're going to want to think about is your size and your stability needs. Now I touched on the stability a little bit there, but how big are you? Are you six foot six like me? Are you five foot two? That's going to depend, depending on how tall you are, how big you are, um, how comfortable you are standing, um, I would definitely decide what size of a kayak you want. You maybe want a 10 foot kayak, or maybe you want a 12 or 13 foot kayak. I fish out of about an 11 and a half or 12 foot kayak, but that's just because I'm taller. I could really probably be better off in about a 13 foot kayak, but the next reason is why I don't go that route storage and hauling. So what are you gonna haul this kayak with? Are you gonna haul it with a big truck? Do you have a trailer? Or are you gonna put it on the top of your little Honda Accord? I don't, it doesn't really matter. Fortunately, you can put kayaks on lots of different things, but you probably aren't gonna be able to put the biggest kayak on the market on top of your little Honda Accord. So you probably need to think about that. On top of that, do you have a lot of space in your garage or do you have a little bit of space in your garage? So these are all the different decision points that I would think about. And I would try to answer each one of those. And after you answer each one of those and kind of speci specify what you need, you're going to be able to hone in on specific types of kayaks. There might be a list of three to five left on the market once you really hone in. And once you do that, it's pretty easy to decide between those three to five. Then another thing that I would consider is, one, you can always buy used. So if your budget's here and the kayak that you want is here, maybe you can buy it used and get it for this price. The other thing to consider is I would definitely test paddle the kayak, especially if you're spending a lot of money on it. You're not going to get, if you're going to spend $2,000, you probably want to make sure that $2,000 that you're spending is on something that you're going to be comfortable in. Not only comfortable in right now, but moving forward down the road. Anyways, I know that's a lot to think about, and I know I didn't necessarily go into super big details on any of it, but I wanted to give you, get your mind thinking. And if you have specific questions, comments, concerns, drop those in the comments below. Otherwise, like I said, I've got a lot more information available in the videos linked in the description below. Thank you so very much for watching, and you know what I'm going to say next, right? Have yourself a fantastic weekend, and uh, we'll catch you next time.